Once you've removed all the oxidation from the surface, it's time to drill. So, in order to use the bench drill, first thing we need to do is install our drill bit. We're going to be using a 1mm drill bit to start with, as the holes for our component legs are quite small. As with all the drills we've used so far, right for tight, left for loose. So I've inserted the drill bit and tightened the chuck. Once that's in place, I then need to lower the drill to the correct height so that I can drill all the way through. To do this, I lower the drill down and just check that it's passing all the way through, which it is. I then need to remember to lock off the drill. As always, when doing any form of practical exercise using machinery, you must make sure that you are wearing goggles and have tied up any hair or loose clothing. At this point, I'm going to drill all of these small holes around the middle. These ones with the circles around the outside are to be done with a 2mm drill bit as they are for a different job. So, line up each hole, one at a time underneath the drill, and then slowly just pass the drill through, making sure that you work round drilling each hole. Once you've drilled all the small holes, you should have a circuit board that looks a little like this one. At this point, what we need to do is drill these larger holes. So I've already changed this drill to a 2mm drill bit. So all I'm going to do is go around those holes around the outside, making sure to line up the drill bit with the centre of each one of those holes. <laughs> Make sure that you pass all the way through each one of these holes. Once completed, your board should look like this. To complete the first part of our circuit board, we now need to drill a 3mm hole just where this crosshair is. In order to do this, we've set up the pillar drill with a 3mm drill bit. Usual rules apply, so we must make sure that the guard is down, we've got our goggles on, long hair and loose clothing is tied up, and that there is an adequate space around us. So I've already set the depth stop to make sure that I don't drill too far, so the first thing I'll do is just bring it down and line it up, then I'll lift back up, turn on the drill, and bring it all the way down through my circuit board. making sure that my fingers are holding it securely. Then use the foot stop to turn off the drill. 